With the elections fast approaching, the spotlight has been on service delivery issues, corruption, the mismanagement of funds, incomplete or abandoned community projects, millions of rands in, and three years later, the NU2 swimming pool project almost suffered the same fate. A state-of-the-art swimming facility is what Buffalo City Metro is promising the residents of Mdanzane with the NU2 swimming pool. Now, this project has had a slow start and delays along the way. It was meant to be finished in December 2018. 2021, it is fully under construction and the municipality says that within the summer period, it will be done. Yes, we are working around the clock to get this pool ready for this summer. Uh, our teams are on site as we speak, even on weekends. Of course, we are experiencing some delays on issues like importing some of the stuff that needs to come in, like the filter pumps, and also some of the strikes that are taking place. They are actually affecting us in terms of getting some steel. But how much was spent on this project so far? There's been a lot of uh, talk around how much has been spent on the project. Uh, every year we have budgeted for the project and, uh, and most of the time we've had to turn back money because the department was not ready. But as things stand right now, we are over 20 million in this project, the current work that is taking place right now and the current work that is envisaged to be finished. While new developments such as the multi-million rand swimming facility and new malls are designed to help boost Mdanzani's socio-economic conditions and create jobs, Unemployed residents like Nona Elwa Picha are finding other means to make ends meet. The housing crisis in South Africa is a continuous battle. Tanzania is also under pressure as many are living in dangerous conditions in the informal settlements. Nzumvugile Sotomela is one of the residents at Winnie Mandela informal settlement who has been waiting for a house over eight years. The Eastern Cape Department of Human Settlements says Buffalo City Metro is the housing agency for the section and that the project is still in the planning phase. Eight years later. It's evident in the delays and the breakdown in government departments and the change of administration affect service delivery and projects meant to boost the local economy. Urban townships like Mdanzani are yet to see their full potential. For News from Africa, Channel 405, I am Sipa Kema in Tanzania.